an updated election calendar. Uh, the uh, election for uh, state representative District 176 has gone to a runoff. Uh, this is the last week of early voting. Uh, that affects only part of Lowndes County, uh, essentially the north uh, east corner uh, of the of the county, uh, and then um, uh, uh, Lakeland um, and Atkinson County and part of part of Ware County. Uh, so uh, early voting uh, this this week runs uh, since it's the last week of early voting runs seven to seven to seven. And then that election will be on uh, next next Tuesday, a week from a week from tomorrow. Uh, then, uh, right on the heels of that, uh, is the vote for East Cross that you've already heard about. Early voting has started because the elections office is open this week, seven to seven, uh, because of the uh, District 176 uh, election. It is open 7 to 7 this week, so they have extended the hours as well as, as next week. Uh, so there's no excuse not to not to vote early. Uh, on the back table, there are also uh, ballots, sample sample ballots. Please pick one of these one of these up. Uh, that will show you uh, the wording of the East Cross. Uh, and then for those who live in uh, District 2 in the city, uh, the uh, election for, uh, to replace uh, the unexpired term of Vanessa Flukas, uh, Melissa Brown, and Edgar Tooley, uh, that, that is also on the, on the ballot. Uh, so early voting this week, uh, next week, uh, and then the election in precincts on uh, Tuesday, March, March the 19th. Everybody in the city and in the county is eligible to vote for East Park. Yeah. This is a very significant vote. Uh, this really uh, is the lifeblood for our city and county schools. Uh, again, I let me join up this in urging you uh, to vote yes and to make sure that your neighbors, your friends, your co-workers, your church members, uh, everybody that you can get the word uh, goes out and, and vote yes. Uh, turnout in uh, special elections is always thin. It makes a difference. Please, please go vote and urge others to, to vote. Uh, later in the in the year, we'll have the municipal elections. The offices that are open are listed listed there. Right. Also in the back is a <coughs> handout from the board of, board of elections. Thank you, Captain, for bringing some copies of this uh, with the times and times and dates of the voting. Uh, but also a reminder on the back uh, that you can go to my voter page, uh, find out where your precinct place is if you don't early early vote, uh, find out uh, what district you're in. Uh, that's very important to do. Uh, we really need to gear up this year and make sure we get out the get out the vote. Uh, particularly uh, committee members uh, working in your districts and super districts and at large, uh, because next year uh, we've got the presidential preference primary. The legislature has not yet set a date for that. Uh, and then uh, next fall, uh, fall 2020, uh, we have an important national, state, and local, local elections. So please, please, please uh, be aware of these elections. Uh, urge your friends to vote and make sure that you uh, get out and vote yourself. Thank you. Any questions for Dr. Mark? Next we have a qualification. Qualified.